Dear friends, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. This session is all about SQL Server Integration Project and how to set up your development environment for a SSIS project. SQL Server Integration Service or SSIS is a platform for building enterprise level data integration and data transformation solutions. So we use integration services to solve complex business problems like copy or download files, load data warehouses, cleanse and mine data, then manage SQL server objects and data. So from a capability point of view, integration services can extract and transform data from a wide variety of sources such as XML data files, flat files, relational data sources like SQL and then load the data into one or more destinations. So integration services include a rich set of built-in tasks and transformations, a graphical tool for building packages, an SSIS catalog database to store, run and manage package. So you can use the graphical integration services tools to create solutions without writing a single line of code. And you can also program extensive integration services object model to create packages programmatically and code custom tasks and other packages objects. In this video, we will try to set up environment for our SSIS project. We will download SQL Server Developer Edition. Why developer edition? Because the Express Edition does not support SSIS. Then we will have the Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition and that is free. Then finally we will install SSIS developer tools and we will try to make a tour of the development environment and in the coming session we will see how to build our first SSIS project. For the college students, the junior programmers or anyone who is aspiring to be a data engineer this video will really help so we have adf azure data factory which is again the cloud version of ssis and we will see how to migrate this ssis project into the cloud as well in the coming sessions so let's begin So first thing first, we will install SQL Server. For that, let's go to SQL Server Download Center. So in the Download Center, you can find both Cloud SQL Server version as well as on-premises SQL Server versions. So we will not go for any licensed SQL servers. Instead, we have both developer and express versions available but you know the express version is free but it does not support SSIS so our option is to go for developer version of SQL Server so let me download the developer version of SQL Server now it's take few minutes let me click on the installer let's run as administrator so it is going to install uh, SQL Server Developer Edition. Let's go with uh, basic. Let me accept. It will be installing C program files, Microsoft SQL Server. And the minimum free space required is 8494 MB. And the download size is 1188 MB. So let me install. So download successful, now installing. So the installation of the SQL Server Developer Edition is completed. So let me install SSMS. You know SSMS is SQL Server Management Studio. So you'll be able to connect to the SQL Server using Management Studio. Let me install this. Yeah, it says normal. Let's right click and run as administrator. You know, the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio is uh, installed. 
let's try to connect yes we have uh, completed installing the sql server developer edition and we don't have any database we don't have any tables so we can also see that there is a integration service catalog and sql server agent so we will work on this integration service catalog we will enable this catalog later as we were working on the ssas project later on so from a database point of view we have installed the sql server developer edition and uh, microsoft sql server management studio the next thing we need to install is visual studio and also the sql server developer tools yes next uh, we are going to install visual studio we will go visual studio 2022 we would like to have the community edition so we'll go to visual studio.microsoft.com so a fully featured extensible free id for creating modern applications for android ios windows as well as web applications and cloud services so let me download especially we just downloaded the installer right click run as administrator let me continue so it's getting the visual studio installer ready so with that we have installed the visual studio installer so basically the visual studio let me open the visual studio installer from here we can choose the workloads that you would like to install so basically we are going to install visual studio community 2022 install so along with that we will be also installing the data storage and processing let me install so microsoft visual studio 2022 is installed we are going to open the tool yes let me skip for the time being i choose dark style so we can create a new project but do you see sql server integration template here no we don't see any sql server integration template here so let me go back i will create a project without any code so this is an empty project so let me see the manage extension we can see that related to sql server integration service you can search integration service so sql server integration service project so this extension is not yet installed so we need to download sql server integration project templates so it is going to take few minutes to download it's basically microsoft data tools for integration services so the download is complete let me open the file again we need to right click and install i run as an administrator so what is going to install we are going to install the data tools for the integration services so we are choosing english so sql server integration service project so let me click next so install this product to the selected visual studio instance they basically we have visual studio community 2022 let me click on install so i need to close my visual studio let me close that 
okay this will install product to the selected visual studio instance let me click install so this installer will install microsoft sql server integration service projects template with that we will be able to create ssis projects Okay, so we need a restart to complete the setup. Let me restart. Let me create a new project. So now we have integration service project, which is Azure enabled. We have integration service project. This project may be used to for building high performance data integration and workflow solution that can run on SSIS catalog, including extraction, transformation, and loading ETL operations for data warehousing. So let me choose this project. So this is the first integration services project. Let me leave it as it is. Let me create first. Yes, you are good to go with your first SSIS services project. We have the solution, we have the project, and you know, we have the project structure. This is the default package, package.dtsx and you can add control flows you can add more packages you can add connection managers you can add project parameters and basically you can add the SSCS toolbox controls like data flow task then control flow task and so on so we will have a tour of the tool in the next session for today we have been doing the environment setup for your integration service project that is almost done the last part of the deployment is to enable ssis catalog so what is ssis catalog the ssis db catalog is a central point for working with integration services projects that you have deployed to the integration services server so the objects that are stored in the SSIS DB catalog include project, packages, parameters, environment, and operational history. So how do you en enable this SSIS database in your SQL server is the question. For that, you can go to the integration services catalog feature in the SQL server developer edition. Then we have options to create a catalog. Let me click on the create catalog this is going to install a database called ssis db so we should provide a password for that click ok so what happens is it is going to restore a catalog database so we have a catalog database installed here so basically ssis db so let me refresh it's an empty database so when you install the SSIS packages you can see more details from this database so that is it with that we have closed the development environment setup for your SSIS projects so in the next video I will show you how to build your first package and doing extract transformation and load activities Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.